first thing we're going to talk about is actually a recommendation from Shakira Shakira. Now, Shakira Shakira has given us some great stuff in the past. I mentioned this briefly the other day. I was dead asleep. And I didn't, usually I have my act, my notification shut off on my phone because I get email at all matters of the day and the night and things like that. And I got a notification, my phone's all ding, and I was like, uh, I woke up and Shakira Shakira had sent me a link about organic black helicopters. Now, I was actually really excited because organic black helicopters is on the conspiracy theory iceberg. It's something that I wanted to talk about, but I can never find any information on it. So I was like, okay, cool. He or she, I don't know might actually be the real Shakira, possibly. But I was like, okay, awesome. This person gave me this resource. It gave me the link to the official page of the Organic Black Helicopters. Brief, brief overview. Black helicopters are basically a theory, a, a thing that's been around since about the 60s and 70s, where these relatively silent, completely black helicopters, so they're painted black and they have no registry numbers on them, Most helicopters have, like, aircraft have to have, like, a registry number. These helicopters have no markings, so you don't know if they're federal, you don't know if they're state, you don't know if it's some sort of private company or anything like that. They're relatively silent, and they're, a lot of times they're in connection with the men in black. A lot of times they're in connection with cattle mutilations. The militia groups, which is a, was a, it it still kind of is a big thing in America, but it was more big during the 80s and 90s. They always thought that the black helicopters were government controlled. Here's the thing. we Black helicopters was one of those things that conspiracy theorists talked about a lot. And I always thought, well, duh, of course the government has unmarked helicopters. Of course the government has silent helicopters. It always seemed to be a no brainer to me. You could always, I, 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 I could just, I don't think they had anything to do with the men in black or cattle mutilations, but I'm sure that black helicopters, unmarked helicopters actually existed. I never understood why why that was ever an issue. We did have it. We do have stealth helicopters. One of them crashed during the Osama bin Laden raid. They actually have technology, so they're not as loud, and they have a very low radar signature. So black helicopters, the theory that they're out there, and and either the government's using them to spy on its own citizens, or it's some extra governmental agency, or they're connected to some interdimensional or extraterrestrial group. That's been around for a long time, but on the conspiracy iceberg, there was the listing organic black helicopters. So... Like I said, I was excited when I saw this website, and the next day when I woke up, I took a look at it, and it has, it's totally fake. The, the It's a joke. The whole theory is absolutely a joke. And it's funny because it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, I had a friend, Mitchum, who sent me a thing called Birds Aren't Real. I think I talked about that uh, quite a while ago. And when you first look at it, you're like, are there actually people who believe that birds aren't real? But once you kind of start digging into it and you see a lot of the photos, you're like, okay, this is a joke. Like, this is making fun of conspiracy theorists. Organic black helicopters are the same thing. And after probably spending about 20 minutes reading the website, I saw stuff like how to fight a baby black helicopter. And they're like, here's step one, get a fly swatter. And I was like, what? And then the logo for the anti-organic black helicopters is a fly swatter. There is a video of an autopsy or photos of an autopsy on a baby black helicopter. It is simply someone taking a model helicopter apart piece by piece. So it's very tongue-in-cheek. But again, I'm thinking maybe this guy's just delusional. I went to the frequently asked questions and it's very tongue-in-cheek there. So it was just a joke. There could be someone else who believes that theory out there and has a different take on it. Oh, and the idea was that black helicopters can have sex with each other and make other black helicopters appear. Or black helicopters can have sex with you. And you you ter- either turn into a black helicopter or a bunch of baby black helicopters come out of your skin. I mean, it's com- but again, like, it's hard to tell sometimes. This site was obviously tongue-in-cheek once you kind of started... Once you kind of know what to look for. Like I said, I went to the frequently asked questions and it was like, oh, no one lies on the internet, right? And I was like, okay, yeah, this, this guy knows what's up. And But there are other people out there who have just crazier beliefs and you just, you, again, you have to kind of go, well, maybe they believe this, maybe they don't. So you're thinking, Jason, okay, that's really going to be one of your topics for the show? Well... I, I was like, okay, I can talk about that a little bit. But there's not much I can do, but still, you know, I got, I got, I got to fill out the show, right? I, you can't leave you guys wanting. I was thinking about this today. Black helicopters aside, I was thinking about this today. Why don't we have good mascots anymore? And not like baseball mascots and stuff like that. But when I was a kid, we had Spuds McKenzie and we had 
like Chester, Cheeto, Dude, the cat, and we had the um, uh, well, the, the oh, the Yo Caro Taco Bell dog, and the little rat people for Quiznos and Jared Fogle for some. <laughs> but we had like mascots. Actually, that's probably the reason why we don't have mascots anymore. It's because Gerald Fogle, but. We used to have a lot, and I don't think we have them anymore. And I was thinking about that. I was like, those were always good ways to connect with the brand. Like, you should have you should have mascots. To be fair, we don't necessarily have a mascot here at Dead Rabbit Radio, but... And then I started thinking, there's a, there is a subculture of mascots that I want to have sex with. <laughs> there is a subculture of, like, sexy mascots. Sexy mascots. So you're like, Jason, are you really talking about this? Yeah, yeah, you know, here. There are, I have a list of mascots that I want to have sex with. Flo, the uh, the uh, progressive girl. She's pretty hot. She looks like she'd be kind of crazy. The insurance girl. Remember the little cartoon chick? She had a really, she had a really nice body. Plus she was athletic. That's always cool. There was this girl who w- was in Honda ads. She was like the... Not the car salesman, but she was like the girl behind the counter. She was really hot. See, it's kind of like that down-to-earth hot. It's kind of like that down-to-earth hot. I was watching a movie last night called Sex Files, She Alien. And I thought it was just going to be like a, uh, what's it called? A type of movie like Species, but it was actually like a softcore porn. And it was bizarre because the actress didn't talk the whole movie Someone else did the voiceover, and it was actually a totally different actress. You could tell because sometimes they would show the person talking. It was someone totally different. It was super bizarre. But she was, like, super, super hot. And, like, sometimes you want, like, down-to-earth hot. Down-to-earth hot. The Sun Made Raisins girl on the little box. She's hot. I know a lot of people like the Wendy's girl, but she looks too young. I know they've tried to age her up recently, so she looks like she's in her 20s. But it's still... She still looks young. Side note. Grimace... If you type in Grimace porn, you will get, no joke, multiple images by multiple artists of Grimace eating the Wendy's girl. What? So bizarre. The green M&M. The green M&M, she has been, like, she's she's sexy. Like, she's a, she's a bit round, you know? She's a bit Rubenesque. She's not, you know, but, but there's just something attractive about her. She has no, like, female characteristics other than, like, I think lips and big eyelashes and a feminine voice, but she's still quite attractive. Any commercial that involves a librarian taking off her glasses and throwing her hair back, those pop up every once in a while. Rare, mostly in 1980s music videos, but you'll see them every once in a while. So, there we go. That's organic black helicopters slash mascots that I want to have sex with. (laughs) I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough for the Black Helicopters thing. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.